it was a very good day for justice. Justice was served with this decision. Attorney Rodney Jacob representing Guam resident Katrina Schaller marking a constitutional victory in a years-long push against the exclusion of Guam residents from the Supplemental Security Income Benefits for the Blind, Elderly, and Disabled. On Friday, Chief Judge Francis Tadinko Gatewood ruling that the court finds that the discriminatory provisions of the SSI statute and any related implementing regulations that discriminate on the basis of status as a resident of Guam violate the Constitution and Organic Act's guarantees of equal protection. Katrina was unable to care for herself uh, because of her disability and um, chose to come live with uh, her loving sister and brother-in-law. And, um, and when she did, the United States terminated her SSI benefits um, because they considered Guam to be outside of the United States. Her twin sister, Leslie, remains in assisted living in Pennsylvania, but she can't travel to Guam for more than 30 days because her benefits would end. If the ruling is upheld, Katrina would receive benefits just like her sister. We highly anticipate that the United States is going to appeal to the Ninth Circuit and, um, and perhaps the U.S. Supreme Court on this very issue uh, to fight it. That fight receiving the support of a national nonpartisan civil rights organization, Equally American. This is an important court victory that really um, just highlights the many ways that residents of Guam and other territories are discriminated against in ways that really just make no sense. While CNMI residents benefit from this federal money, it excludes Guam, American Samoa, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. For Guam's News Network, I'm Tomas Manglonia.